Hello! Today I wanted to show you how you can add... Um, how can you add without having a distress inks? Um, you need a set of watercolors or just one color that you want to distress with. You can have it in tubes too. Uh, you need a um, makeup sponges, wedges. You need some paper to edge. And another thing that you need is Pringle lid. So you take, let's say black. I already have some color on. Because um, I'm repeating this video. Okay, so you take a little bit of black. So I'm going to add some water. If this is going to work. Yes. Three squirts of water. And then I'm just going to smoosh it around. So it gets into my sponge. The best thing here is that you... Oh, I mixed with, <laughs> with brown. Okay, the best thing here is that you don't need to... Um, wash your sponge or um, your lid you take a thing that you want to add let's start with this this is just some uh, scrap and let's edge it you can control in the sponge how much do you want to edge it if you want to very little or very opaque. If you don't like the color that it's more grayish, you can go again. Um, but it's very simple. It dries quick. So here we go. Edged. I hope you can see that. So I'm going to try it on another card that I have here. This is just some uh, journaling card that I made um, and I'm going to put black edges It dries very quickly. Um, you usually get both sides edged, I figured. <laughs> and it looks very nice. When it's dry, it looks matte and very nice. So, if you want to mix colors, then what you do is, uh, if you already have black in here, you want to add a bit of um, brown. I usually pick up my colors with my sponge. Um, I wet my sponge and just pick up brown color on my palette and dab it right here and try to mix it together so that I get the color that I like. And when the color gets dry on your palette, you can still use it. Just add a smidge of water and you can revive it and then use it again if you're working on a project. I'm sorry that my nails look very dirty. I have been um, coloring today, so that's why they are so dirty. I was thinking to put more color on, uh, more different shades of Different shades of um, brown, I guess. So this lid is just to mix your colors, basically. Um, you can you don't need it if you're just gonna use what you have on your palette. And because sponge is very soft, you can very nicely add normal paper. So 
So yeah, edged. So the nicest thing about this is that you can use colors um, that you have on your palette or that you can premix and use as desired for anything. It dries so quickly that it's not going to run or smudge. looks beautiful and like you did it with uh, these dressings. I'm gonna use a little bit of blue. And if, if you like the opacity, um, that it's very light like right now, uh, you can leave it like that or you can go over again. Mm, which color can I use? Oh, green. And the green color. So cheap alternative how to use distress inks. Here we go. So now we have three samples. This is black. This is brownish. Different two brown colors. Three. And this is colorful. I wanted to show you the second um, technique. How can you distress your paper? your projects without using real distress inks. Um, what you're going to need is acrylics. Um, I have this acrylic, acrylics that are in small tubes that I have to um, use. And I already put two colors on. Uh, this is the green, cheap green color and the blue and a little bit I'm going to put a sienna. Um, on my palette. So for the palette, I'm using protector sheet that is half of A4. I'm going to take few cards or something to edge. Let's say this. Um, you need to take some water and put water on your sponges. That is important and just play with the color and dab it around so it transfers to a sponge okay now we shall edge when the color gets dry that means that it's permanent the drawback is that you cannot reuse what you have on your palette uh, if you just leave it like that. Um, it's different from, from watercolors. But if you have a lot, a lot of things to edge at the same time, then I recommend you to actually get, um, to actually edge it with acrylics. Um, and you don't need to fix it because when it's dry it's going to be permanent. So what am I trying to say here is that you don't necessarily need to buy um, distress inks for just your edges to distress your edges. I think it looks more dark gray still because I didn't clean the sponge. Oh well. And I'm going to use this sponge for brown. Okay, so we distressed it with three colors. This is already dry and you can see the difference between this is the watercolor that we made before and this is the um, acrylics. I think they both look very very much vibrant and alive and uh, the application with the sponges is beautiful. So I hope this is helpful and you will try it so you don't need to buy more um, distress inks. And let me know in the comments below um, how did it go for you. 
Happy crafting. Bye bye.